Hey there! Today we're going to be looking at this pen, a nice vacuum filled pen made by Navalure, uh, formerly known as Narwhal, and um, uh, they contacted me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing their original plus, this is the original plus, but they're making two limited editions for 2023. I only have this at hand, but I did try the other one. I'll show you that when I tilt the camera down. And I said, yeah, of course, a uh, very interesting pen in my mind, vacuum filler, that's always fun. Uh, in, in my mind, a little fancier than a piston filler, just because it's fun to use. Uh, ink capacity is large, as you can see, this one is only about half full, but there is a trick, I have a separate video on that, on how to fill a vacuum filler completely. And I think there's a lot of fun uh, stuff about these pens. There's 500 of each color, uh, they have um, nice trims, they have nice nibs, and they're only $75, which is remarkably inexpensive, I think, for a limited edition and for what you get, because it's a very pleasant writer. So, I will cover the parts of the pen, I will do a writing sample, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and of course a very kind thank you to Navalure for sending these to me, they also got here in record time, so that was really really cool. Let's check them out. Okay, so Narwhal sent me, sorry, Navalure sent me, I keep saying Narwhal, but that's because the branding was still Narwhal. Uh, Navalure sent me two original plus pens, the Lovina Black and the Matera White. I'll show you the box first, kind of cute, you pull this end and out comes a little uh, faux leather uh, pen case that you can use, uh, which holds more than one pen for sure. Here I just put this back in just the way you get it. This would be the uh, Matera White. These are limited editions. I'm just going to put this away again because I want to show you the black one because I have a white uh, background here. I thought it would be nicer to show you something black that will stand out more. I'll put this back in its little pouch. Okay, uh, and then we have um, this little information, oops, sorry, information pamphlet user's manual on how to fill the pen. Not useless because it's a vacuum filler and if you've never used one you can be a little puzzled. So here we have the actual pen. I'm going to zoom in a bit, not quite that far. I'll put it next to a Pilot Metropolitan. Nicely sized pen. Not too big, not too small. These are vacuum filled pens. That means you unscrew this bit, pull it out, put the nib in a bottle of ink, push this back in, that creates a vacuum that at some point pops because the barrel gets a little wider. Once that seal goes past that wider point, it pops and it draws up ink. There is a little trick to fill up, a, fill up a pen like that completely because as you can see, right now it only has a barrel that's about half full. I have a video on that specific trick. Available in nibs are fine, medium and broad, uh, as well as a stub in steel. Uh, you can also get an, uh, an upgrade number six gold nib for $204. That's not nothing, especially given that the pen at this point is advertised at a price of $75. Now, there are 500 pieces of each of these pens for 2023, and uh, this one has rose gold trims, in case you can't make that out. It's, uh, it's a rose gold trim, which I think is uh, quite nice. Now I started, yeah, no, no, it's rose gold. It's a little hard to see in the light, but it is rose gold. Let's cover the parts of this pen, so we'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, here we have that uh, a little rose gold sort of medallion on the finial, which is quite nice, I think. Uh, there is the clip, which is fairly springy, also cute shape. Uh, it still says Narwhal here, the, the, the company rebranded itself as Navalure. Uh, this says Narwhal, and I like this slightly barrel-shaped cap. I think it's nice and distinguished. Okay, now we have the barrel. Again, you can fill the whole thing with ink, so that's quite a substantial capacity. And here, of course, is that turning knob. I can turn it, I just won't pull it out because ink will squirt everywhere once I push it back in. Uh, particularly nice, I think, is the clear barrel because it's always fun with a, uh, a vacuum filler to actually see the ink in there. You can unscrew the cap, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't be able to write, and you find this section. A quick tip, the section can be removed, which is nice if you want to grease this mechanism. Might not be a bad idea once in a while to put a little bit of silicone grease on the inside of the threads of this section. 
just so that you uh, make sure that you don't get any leakage here because this is a lot of ink to seep out. Nib, like I said, steel number six. This is a rose gold cover, which I think is quite nice. I just want to try, that's probably a bit too far. I just want to try to show you the engraving of the uh, that little narwhal, I think is quite cute. Nice scroll work, and then there is a plastic feed. Nice pen, nice size, as you can see. Uh, for the lovers of posting, you can post it. You get a really big pen, uh, very comfortable. I find the section tapers down, flares out a little bit, comfortable to hold. Threads are really nice, not sharp at all. The barrel is really not sharp, so you get a very, very comfortable pen, I found. And then with the big capacity of the uh, vacuum filler, I really like it. So, we're not at likes and dislikes yet, so let's first do this. We have here a Navalur uh, original. Plus, I couldn't find that indication of nib grade, but I am assuming that this is an F or a medium at most. Uh, and the ink is star, horrid writing, sorry, star ruby red by Edelstein. Very nice. I always like that in, in um, demonstrator pens. Oops, sorry. Uh, because the ink itself is kind of translucent. It's, it's a little too dark this way, but if I hold it up to the light, I can actually look through the ink, and I always think that's a nice effect for a transparent pen. It's a pleasant writer. The, the nib is pretty smooth. I am not using the other one in this review, but I have tested it, of course, um, and it's very similar. Pleasant, nice writers. Uh, haven't run dry on me, haven't really skipped on me, so really pleasant, pleasant writing pens. Not super wet, not too dry, I think these are really nicely adjusted. For me they can never be wet enough, so I, I might make this a little wetter, but obviously I wanted to show you what this looks like out of the box. Um, line variation, it's not a flex nib. So always be very careful. You can squeeze out a little bit. Not designed for it though, so at your own risk. Reverse writing. You see it starts to skip a little bit. Certainly come, becomes a bit drier. I think you can get away with a couple words and you have, instead of a fine, uh, an extra fine. And that's kind of it. So I think these are, if they truly are going to be 75 bucks, I don't think that's a terrible price for a cool filling system, a really nicely made pen that feels solid. Um, I think it's a fair price. So let's discuss some likes and dislikes. What do I like, what do I not like about the Navalure Original Plus? I have to say, I struggle with coming up with things that I don't like. If the price is truly going to be $75, when I checked it, I mean, I, I received them, I think, a little bit ahead of time. They were marked as sold out. I don't think they're actually sold out. I just think they're not for sale yet. If the price really is $75 for a limited edition pen, I think that's fair. Um, you can upgrade the steel nib to a gold nib. That costs an additional $204, which I'm not sure that's worth it on a $75 dollar pen, uh, but if you really want to, you could upgrade it, then you have a very fancy version of this pen. I found this to be a really pleasant nib, same thing goes for the other pen that I also tried, also very pleasant to use. But I think the pen has a lot going for it. The, the vacuum filling system is a cool filling system, it's not something you see on 9 out of 10 pens, so I think that gives it a nice quality. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that you can see the ink on the inside, that's just cool with this type of filling system. Uh, I really like that. I like that the section unscrews, that means you could put a little bit of silicone grease on a Q-tip and then make sure that the, um, um, the seal actually gets lubricated, everything keeps moving smoothly. You can do that as a user, not every vacuumatic pen can be disassembled like that, so I think that's very nice. I think the cap is elegant, I just want to take a second for the cap because it's kind of barrel shaped and that 
I think is nice. That adds just a little bit more elegance to, to the pen. It has a large capacity. Uh, it's, it's comfortable to use. If you really want to, you can post it and turn it into something really big. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but you could. It's comfortable, I think, for many pen users, smaller hands, bigger hands. Uh, it writes very comfortably. It's a very nice, smooth nib out of the box. I've had no issues. Uh, I've had some drier narwhal nibs in the past, and now we have this, and this, these two seem to write very nicely. So um, I don't know what to say in, in ways of negatives. I find it a very nice package. You get the little faux leather pen case with it. It feels very complete to me. So I think it's cool. And uh, that's all I have to say. If you have one, then let me know what you think. If you run into any issues, I have not. It doesn't leak. It doesn't like it's really all tight and exactly how it should be. So a very kind thank you to Narwhal, sorry, to Navalur for sending me these. I appreciate it. I hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye.